this video I am going to show you how to make a barn wood picture frame. This is the mat that I'm going to use and I need to make sure that my barn wood frame matches this exactly. This is the wood that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's nice barn wood that's all ready to go. It's been sitting outside for many years. And this is some other uh, wood that is also going to be part of the barn wood frame. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll do step by step as best I can. And don't forget to wear your safety glasses. This is the wood that I'm going to use for the front of the frame. It's a little bit thinner. It's got a nice color to it. And I'm going to cut it into strips on my table saw and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. The outside of the frame is going to have that thicker wood that I showed you. It's kind of like a two by six it looks like. I gotta be really careful when I'm using this wood because it's really thin. So it's definitely gonna test out my woodworking skills. So I'm gonna cut this into strips and I'm gonna show you how to do that on the table saw. So as you can see, this wood is so fragile I should have about that much on this wood. It's so old and brittle. So I gotta be really careful how I, how I proceed. Now I'm done with the uh, cuts on the table saw. And I've got three pieces, different lengths. And this is going to be the inner border, the inner border of my frame. And I'm going to now take these to my router right here three quarter inch straight router bit and what's what that's going to do is it's going to uh, create a recess and this recess is where the picture frame mat is going to lean up again on the back side of the frame so just to show you what I've done I put kind of a guard here to make sure that my board doesn't uh, sway back and forth and I just use my um, <clears throat> regular C clamps to hold it in place and now we're going to uh, use the tape, the router to create a recess for our inner frame. And I want to make sure that I use this piece right here where my thumb is because that is the weathered side. That's the cut side. And if I put the recess here, then it's not going to look as good. So I'm going to attempt to do it, to do it on this side. And here we go. So there you can see the recess. Here's the recess that I just did with my uh, 3 quarter inch straight router tip. And we are going to do the same thing to the other pieces. Got to clean to make the wife happy. Okay, now we are ready to um, start the miter cuts and uh, using some brad nails to fasten our mitered edges. Just want to show you something really quickly. So when we put the mat up against the recess, you can see how nice and pretty it looks versus if we were to do it this way and you've got that cut wood side showing. It's not as pretty, so it takes a lot more wood to do something like this and uh, let's go ahead and uh, make some miter cuts here's the mitered edges and I've got this nice little contraption that will hold my edges as I use my brad nailer I'm going to use these brads to go ahead and put in a couple of brads and then I'm going to do that to all the corners and then we'll move on to the bigger stuff Here are all of the uh, mitered edges that have been brad nailed together. 
barn wood is <clears throat> very tricky. It's, it, it warps. It's kind of tricky to work with. And you just got to do the best you can when you're working with it. Um, say a couple of swear words if you need to. Or don't. But um, let's flip it over and see what it looks like. Not too bad. Looking pretty good. So, um, I really like how that turned out. Looks really good. Uh, got a couple of features here with um, old holes that are going to accent and make it look really nice. So now, the next step is to take this wood and we're going to cut it in half and then this piece will stand kind of like this and it's going to look really nice and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing to do is cut these boards in half on my table saw. Alrighty, so I've cut these uh, into strips on the table saw, so I'm done with the table saw. And as you can see, kind of got the border started a little bit right there. So all of these four pieces of wood are going to fasten around the border all the way around. And I'm going to miter those, and then we'll um, use a lot bigger... Uh, brad nails not sure how the brad nails will work i may have to use glue i'm not sure so we'll see we'll see how it goes now if i measure this correctly I should be able to have equal parts and uh, that way I can reduce on my cut time and my measuring time so we'll see if it works this outer frame is so much easier to work with I'm basically just kind of shaping it and molding it as I go um, doesn't have to be nearly as precise as this one this was a lot harder on the inside because it was so thin but this is a nice, sturdy, thick piece of wood to work with, so uh, here we go. Looking at it right here, I'm going to shave just a teeny bit off of this one. Uh, it's kind of a little bit long, so just going to trim that a little bit. That is a much nicer fit. Starting to come together. Um, the only thing I have to do is really... The top piece right there and that's pretty much it. So one of the things I had to do is put some weight on the frame because it lifts up on this side and lifts up on that side. So I got to make sure it's nice and flat when I'm also um, brad nailing it and doing some measurements and some cutting. I don't want anything to look silly. So I got to put some weight on here to make sure the barn wood doesn't move.
So the final thing we need to do, it's all done. Check it out. It's all nice and pretty. It's going to look really good for just any kind of decoration inside the home with a nice picture. Um, last thing we need to do is put something to hang this picture frame <clears throat> on with uh, a picture frame holder. The easiest way to do that is to measure from side to side and then divide it by two and then put a line right there and then you can put your picture frame holder right there and I'll show you how to do that. Also, this inner frame was really loose so I just went around and I put in brad nails all the way around, kind of at an angle. You can kind of see my brad nails. They're all at an angle. Not a big deal, but it gets the job done.